Mocker. Do you know what Fenstermacher means? Maker of windows. I didn't know that. <laughs> and on that note, let's bring a van. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. Good morning. Good morning. I'm glad to see all of you here today. It's hard to believe, but my family and I have been a part of this community now for 11 years. I came here in 1999 to assist with the concert series and began an unexpected but wonderful, pleasant journey back to faith. Not the old time gospel faith that my paternal grandfather used to preach in the panhandle of Florida, but a universal faith that is not so much concerned about being judged in the afterlife, but about peace, social justice, and caring for all life on earth. I have learned through this wonderful journey to release resentment and apprehension and embrace the spirit of love. Am I still skeptical? Of course I am. What you you isn't? Questioning authority, questioning religious teachings are all part of being a you you, and it's all part of our essential growth as individuals. In my professional life, I have been an insurance adjuster now for 23 years. When people meet me in a professional capacity, it's never under good circumstances. I've handled hurricanes, fires, floods, tornadoes, and over the past 13 years, I've handled bodily injury claims. Being a Unitarian Universalist, I believe, has helped me learn how to empathize with others. Even with the numerous insurance scams present in Florida, I, I try not to judge people at all, much less judge them too harshly. Though some doctors, lawyers, and injured are just trying to game the system. When I meet with those people who are making claims, whether it be in court or in a mediation setting, I try to remember that I must respect the inherent worth and dignity of this individual as a person. Sometimes it can be difficult, but everyone deserves an honest chance to tell his or her story. And I must listen to them with an open mind. The first principle listed on the back of the order of service is how I try to live my life. Again, respect the inherent worth and dignity of everyone. I also keep coming back because the love here is contagious. Along with reason, love is such an important part of this foundation. Cynicism kills love. Resentment evolves into hatred. Maybe I should say devolves into hatred. Love washes us clean from these feelings. If we open up our minds and our hearts and let the love in, I've been dismayed and frustrated by the hatred of people toward the building of an Islamic cultural center near Ground Zero. The builders want this place to be an interfaith center. How closely that aligns to our values as Unitarian Universalists. We believe in interfaith worship. If those who oppose this center were to pull down their own veils that are over their eyes, and see that the vast majority of Muslims want to live in peace, that they are not terrorists. Maybe the love for your fellow human, for your fellow man, woman, as taught in Christianity, could enter their hearts, and we could see more peace in this world. I'm proud to say that my daughter is a Unitarian Universalist. She's now 15 and is on her own faith journey. The religious studies many faith traditions, along with the vital teachings of the Our Whole Life curriculum, I believe have given her a head start on this journey. The teachings have been honest, frank, and enlightening to her. To all the volunteers who have worked with the children and the young adults, my family gives you our thanks. When life gets in the way, 
UUC is a reminder of all of what life really has to offer us. Thank you.